there's uh so i come from you know when you're growing up in the old school church i know i know it's the thing that everybody gets to have that opportunity to be yes on the <laughs> on the thing and it's like you don't have to have any real musical ability i remember right all right so when i started when i first started playing it was in my dad's church and they tell me I remember he he had a need. There was nobody playing. My mom played guitar, mm -hmm. but he wanted me to start playing for service. Up until that time, I only read music. I had gone to school. I started playing piano when I was seven years old, reading music, classical music. And you go to play in church, and there's no music. You don't get music. You know, old school church, they're not giving you music to read off right. of. The person starts singing, and then you have to play. Right. And there's no rehearsal. No rehearsal. Old school church, there's no rehearsal. It's in so, the moment. Right. In that moment, you got to just find the key. Right. Then they start singing, and they didn't really respect staying in the key. <laughs> so they start in the verse. It's one key. I know. I know. And it was always like the little ancianitas, you right. know? No, 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 no. First of all, I don't have a problem with the little ancianitas. They were they beautiful were the and because they treated me good. They always brought me <laughs> little snacks. So I didn't have a problem. I had a problem with the person who then when they realized we're not in sync, we <laughs> stop. And guess who they blamed it on? They did not say. Lo musico. Right, right. Because why? Why? Why the musico? You're not in the in the and you're not in tune. You're no, not in, because in the you were spirit. not praying. Right. Yeah. You were not praying and fasting enough. So just not to get too deep or too serious in this, whatever. I know we're looking at worship fails, but I think everybody should worship God. It's okay for everybody right. to worship God, but not everybody's called to lead others into worshiping God. Right, right, Because right. it can be distracting if you don't really know, like, yeah, that was, I grew up in the same tradition that you did, and that was definitely an issue. I think for us, like, our worship ministry was very, you know, we were very blessed. We had a lot of musicians that were great. And the person who was in charge of it had this grace about dealing with people, you know, and and, how, and everyone felt really included for a certain time. But when he left, I remember <laughs> trying to institute that whole, like, let's have a worship team. Right, right, right. That was foreign. The concept of a worship team, like, what do yeah, you mean absolutely. that we don't take turns? Right, 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 right. It's the same people yeah, 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 that yeah. lead worship every, every time. Week. And remember back back in the day, it was part of membership. Like being a member meant you had the you know the privilege or the, the you had the right, right to be able to sing and lead lead the church. So for me, it was they. I mean, before worship, I'm the one who started the worship team. Before that, it was hymnals. hymnals. I remember being a little kid. Pass out the books. Listen, yeah. I was the little kid who would pass them out uh -huh. at the end of service. My dad, we'd collect them. Me and a bunch yes. of little kids, we collect them, and yeah, then there would be a count. Because those are yes. expensive. You have to make so sure you got them all right, back. If they were 35 and they collected 33, my dad would be like, okay, we got 33. We got to find the two. And people are looking on the yeah. seats and looking all of that. So I remember being a little kid and wanting to be the like the hymnal co collector at the uh -huh. end of the service. But then there is the time where I'm, I, I think I was in my early 20s, late teens, and I saw worship teams, and I was like, I want to bring that. Yeah. And up until then, everybody sings from the hymnal, and everybody takes a turn. If you remember the church, whether you knew how to sing or not, you yep. go up on stage, whether you can stay you in time, worship. and you lead what they call it, have it devotional. Devotional. De devotional. Uh -huh. So um, anyway, so I start that, and it was funny because I get everybody ready, and we had our first rehearsal. We had never had music rehearsal before. Mm -hmm singing so we had a rehearsal and i remember seeing videos the problem i had was i had i saw i, I don't know if you remember marco's wit yes marco's wit i saw marco's wit concert yeah and he's leading worship and you see an audience of people lifting their hands and so into it and then you go to a old school pentecostal church that has never done that before and then you start to do worship they're not there they're looking at you like you gotta convince them right first. you have to convince and <laughs> then it, you know the fight was to get them to stand up listen before they can worship god they gotta make sure that it's the right <laughs> this is right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so they have to buy in right. and when they buy in then they can stand up i and remember worship so god. upset i remember there was this one guy w would protest worship every week by sitting there, arms crossed, looking at us, yeah. and like because you're when doing it, rehearsals, and how could you do that? Right, and yeah, how, why we, is I it? had the same experience. It was we started a worship team, and it was just for youth service. 
and it was so controversial. It was like, we're going to have rehearsal and we're going to do worship team. And it was, it was so, you know, I think it's wonderful that people want to sing and they want to worship God. And I, I get that, you know, I, I, I feel like, I think over time I've changed my, I get it. And I understand that there are people that just, they love that and that's their tradition and it's their way to share. And I think they still should, they mm -hmm. still should share. I think that beginning portion of the service to lead the congregation into worship, there's really a calling. That's right, really, that you, a, have, for it. you yeah, have yeah. to have a calling. You have to have talent for it. You have to have God given abilities, just like the pastor should have certain abilities to preach the sermon. It's the same thing. And then, Outside of that, I think everyone should share their worship if they want. Everyone should sing right. and and and. I think where the I think where the church has gone wrong is that, and what people don't understand is that the people leading the worship team, the worship leader, is not high. You think about it. When God is enjoying the worship of His people, He's not He's not taking the worship leaders' worship more than He's taking your worship. Right. Whether you're sitting in the pew or you're on the stage. God receives it all together. Mm -hmm. We do worship leaders because we need, as a group, we need one person, a guy or a girl, mm -hmm. who knows how to sing to help us all stay together for right. us. That's not a God thing. God doesn't need, so he doesn't look, and I think what happens sometimes is people have that eagerness, like I wanna be on the stage, I don't know if it's either that they look at it as I want God to receive my worship yeah. better or just the, like I want to, you know, be in, have the spotlight. 